Hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Mark, thank you for joining. Sarah, thank you for joining. And for everybody else who's watching us either live or on a replay, I really, really value your time and thank you for joining me. Hi, Sarah. You okay? Right. Um, guys, I want to talk to you about something really special today. And I want to thank you, Sarah, for inviting followers. Guys, tap the screens for the hearts. I really love those hearts. They're really tasty and scrumptious. And um, I want to see who's got the brown hearts today, the chocolate hearts. I absolutely love those. So everybody tap away. I want to see who's got the chocolate hearts today. Hey, lady, how you doing? Um, we're going to talk about a really special topic today. We're going to talk about discipline and regret. And there's a really interesting quote that I um, saw flying across my timeline on Facebook um, recently. And it's literally talking about you can either have the pain of discipline or you could have the pain of regret. And I thought that's a you know, really interesting quote because we go through life you know, thinking, okay, I'll just do things whenever you know, they feel right or I'll do things when um, you know, I feel like doing things. And we always find ways or reasons or excuses to put things off. Now, the only way you're going to get around that is through self-discipline. And self-discipline means doing what needs to be done now instead of when you feel like doing it. So doing it even when you don't feel like doing something. And I really discovered the secret to this as I started building my coaching business. And being a parent and being someone who has got a full-time job and I'm also establishing a coaching business, I found there's no way that I can actually do everything that I need to be able to do unless I really apply myself and use some self-discipline. So I really want you to think about um, right now the times in your life where you've had... Hi, Des, thanks, thanks for joining us. We're talking about discipline and regret and which you should choose to go for. So as I'm building a business, I'm finding that if I'm not disciplined, if I'm not really focusing on the actions I need to take on a daily basis, then nothing happens. So I want you to think back to a time when you've really done this well, you know, you've excelled at doing something and you've had to really apply, apply yourself to be able to do it. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably found that, okay, initially it started off being quite an arduous thing to do and difficult to do and difficult to follow through on your own actions. But as you got into a routine and created a habit, the habit itself allows you to do more and more things which are self-disciplined. So the opposite side of this is regret. So if you find that you're not disciplined, you often find that once a period of time has passed and you think, oh, by now I should have done this, by now I should have done that, then the feeling of regret sets in. Guys, keep the hearts flowing. And if you like what you're hearing, please do share the feed. And also, I want you to think about um, a really interesting thing. I, I read a book called The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying. It's by a um, lady called Bronnie Ware, who was a nurse, and she wrote this book called The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying, and, you know, very riveting read, as you can imagine, and really positive, um, but it does teach you a lot about the things that people come to the end of their life and think, okay, what didn't I do? Yeah. And it's always the case that when, when people have regrets, they regret the things that they didn't do rather than the things that they did do. And some of the things that you're thinking about doing, but you're not actually following through, you're not doing those things on a disciplined and continuous basis, are those things that you're putting off because there's an element of fear involved. And usually if you search through the fear, it's in part a fear of success. You know, what happens if I do actually do it? What, what's on the other side, the unknown? You know? So I would say that, um, according to Bronnie Ware in this book, one of the top five regrets of the dying is people saying they didn't live life on their terms and they regret, regretted doing, um, not doing certain things which would have made them happy. And that covers probably two or three of the top five regrets. So I found this to be a really interesting lesson for me and um, I'd like you to all comment a yes if you think this message resonates with you, if you feel that discipline is something that can really push you forward and you know, as opposed to the opposite, which is the feeling of regret. Thank you, Mark. Um, 
Now, I also want to, th want to think about the last time that you didn't follow through on something, the last time you... <laughs> hey, Fermented Foodie, sorry you uh, missed the start of the scope there. Please do catch some replay, but the main message that I have for you is that... Um, awesome. Cool. <laughs> um, you know, the, the, the pain of discipline is something that's really hard to get over, especially initially when you're trying to form a habit that you're trying to get into that is going to give you an end result. And you can't really see that result. It's somewhere off into the future and you can't see what that's going to bring you. But it is definitely worth it. Thank you for um, saying that. And the thing is, the opposite of this, the pain of failure and the pain of regret is going to be far worse. There's a, there's a few things that you know the, the, that are important and they get in the way of the main things that you should be doing or your main plan or your action plan or your daily to do list, and that's okay. Um, oh, fermented food, you got kicked. Uh, thanks for coming back. Um, so the, there's a few things that will get in the way, but recognize those, prioritize what needs to be done, and just keep saying to yourself a few positive affirmations or positive thoughts like. I am self-disciplined. I am always self-disciplined. And if you find yourself getting distracted, just say to yourself, back to work, back to work, back to work. Or what it is, whatever it is that needs doing. Ah, okay. Guys, um, if you swipe the screen left or right, I think it's okay. But if you swipe down, it probably cuts you out. It depends on which device you're on. Um, you do want to swipe upwards and then you can then get to share the scope with your followers and tweet the scope as well. So again, just want to say that positive self thought is going to definitely help you in achieving uh, more of this. Hey Periscope's queen, great to see you. Use two fingers to give hearts. I do that, I got on a tapping frenzy. So guys, go on a tapping frenzy, but not too much and don't kick yourself out. Uh, so I want to say use the power of positive affirmations to get yourself to follow through on your daily actions, including, you know, back to work, back to work, including, um, you know, I am self-disciplined, I am self-disciplined. Those are my two favorite ones. Come up with some of your own. If you guys can think of something that you personally say to yourself, some positive self-talk, I really want to hear it. So do type it in. Love what you do and that will drive you. Definitely using the power of following your own passion and that is really the you know one of the main messages for today is follow your passion if you're following your passion you're going to be compelled to take action you're going to be compelled to do what you need to do i'm not saying um don't have those treats and don't have those rewards and don't have those things that are considered fun those things are really important for boosting your own self ego and your inner child and if you neglect those Trust me, there's going to be chaos. I've tried to do that and have no no fun and all work and, you know, it just doesn't work. Um, you get to a point where you just become too frustrated, frustrated with yourself, frustrated with the fact that it always seems like, you know, work, on quotes. And you don't end up following through on the actions that you need to take just because you're not simply rewarding yourself. Passion and inspiration make everything possible. Exactly, exactly. And it's about following your passion, but it's also about allowing that time to reward yourself to say, okay, this is the time I'm going to use now to, hey, someone's got the chocolatey heart. Um, <laughs> I ditched a business and followed my passion. That's exactly what you need to do, guys. Um, also, what, all, the other thing you need to do is swipe the screen up and or click on the little person in the corner and share this scope as well. So other people can get benefit from, the, from this message as well because there's other people out there who are following you or people that you know that probably require that extra bit of push. You know, they need a bit of a push to get going and following their dreams and following their passion just like you've managed to do. So please do share this. But <clears throat> I would like to say if there's anything you guys want to add and if you have your personal self-talk that you use to really boost yourself and keep yourself going especially when you don't feel like going and doing those things and following those actions then that would be awesome <laughs> cool um and that's that's basically my message for today so if anyone's here watching us on the replay thank you thank you so much for joining me and i really do value everyone's time here 
And I'd love to thank everyone in the Tag Tribes community for joining me as well. And just as a recap, choose to go through the, uh, the pain of discipline and please avoid the pain of regret. It's part of the top five regrets of the dying and I don't want any of us to be there. So please do. Hey Kevin, late to the party as usual. <laughs> um, and guys, thank you very much for sharing the feed and for all the lovely hearts. Love you all. Take care and I will see you probably same time tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.